Okay, so what I'm doing here, just to explain, this is an ammonia test. And uh, you must do these every now and then on your fish, on your fish tanks. Not established ones necessarily, but it's a good idea to do them from time to time. Now the new tank that I set up over there was a quarantine tank, but it is a new tank. And for tanks to get established, or fish tanks to get established, they actually need to have some bacteria in them that will break down ammonia. Now a common thing with uh, people who set up a new tank is that they will set the tank up, uh, put it up a whole heap of fish in there, and what's going to happen in a week and a half or two weeks or something is that the fish will die. Um, and this is due to an ammonia spike, because the, the fish basically put out ammonia. And once the ammonia reaches a certain level, it kills the fish. Um, but it does take... Ammonia can be broken down by bacteria that forms in your filter and on rocks and on the sides of the tank and all that sort of stuff. But that takes time to actually happen. And if you don't let it uh, take the time to do that, you can end up with dead fish, as I just said. So my fish tank, which I've set up, the quarantine tank, um, it wasn't an established tank, but what I've done is I cheated a little bit. I took some of the uh, stones out of a tank that is established, so hope, presumably all the, the gravel in that tank is um, uh, with bacteria on it that is going to break down ammonia. And, um, and I also put some of the, uh, what they call filter medium, out of an established tank into one of the filters that I'm now running on this new tank. So what I'm going to do is actually test how much ammonia uh, is in the water, if there's a problem with the ammonia. I, I honestly don't know. I haven't done this test yet. And if there is a lot of ammonia in there, what I've got to do then is probably drain off half the tank and fill it again with fresh water until the, uh, and keep doing that until the bacteria necessary to control it is established. So uh, what I do is I put um, eight drops of each of these two test bottles. This brand, what is it? It's, uh, it doesn't actually say, Aquarium Pharmaceuticals. Whatever Aquarium Pharmaceuticals is. But um, eight drops of each into here, shake it up, and shake it up, and you wait five minutes for the results, and you read the color off, not that one, that's the salt water card. This is the fresh water card. Important to use the right card. And you compare the color that's in this vial against that and it will give you a reading of how much ammonia is in the water. And anything more than, well, probably somewhere around here could spell, it uh, means your fish aren't going to do very well and anything up about here or maybe a little bit more, your fish will probably die. So now that I've explained that, I'll go and do, what I'll do is I'll fill the, this with water and I'll put uh, the drops in. If I'm really good, I can film myself putting the drops in, and uh, we'll see how we go. All right, back shortly. All right, so what I've done there now is I've put some water I've just taken from the tank into this vial, and if I set the camera down here just right, I should be fine. Now, the other thing I meant to mention is you really must shake these things up, and really shake them up to get, because apparently the active chemicals in each of these uh, bottles tends to settle out and you've got to get it out or it doesn't work properly, it's not accurate and people hate you and the RSPCA come around and take your fish off you. No, it's a true story, they do, really, sort of. <laughs> Eight drops, let's see how we go on live camera and one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Marvellous. We're halfway there. Bottle number two. No, I'm not fapping off camera, you dirty bastards. Here we go again. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. All right. Now, what I do have to do now is to put the lid on this thing and shake vigorously, and I will get back to you in a fair five minutes. Okay. Um, so 
I have some unfortunately disturbing news. I do have an ammonia issue in there. As you can see, that is quite a contrast in colours to when I last had the um, had the camera on. Oops, and we're lucky we kept the cap on, aren't we? So probably ah, if I'll put this up near the light so it gives a true sort of reflection. Actually the light's not really I'm looking at it on the camera and I'm looking at it in real life. Um, and I would have to say it's probably closer to about 0.5 parts per million, which is about that third bar down. On camera it tends to look like the fourth, but I don't think that's quite accurate. So it looks like what I've got to do is take some of the water out of that tank ASAP and uh, the fish aren't in any real danger at the moment but uh, if they're left for much longer they could well be. Here I'll tilt it that way, it probably gives you a better perspective. Yeah, we've got a problem and uh, now we know that we've got to act on it. For your information, established tanks or the other established tanks that I have in the house almost invariably come back with the top yellow colour which means there's no ammonia in the water. So bugger, I have to do some work. Okay, well, I don't know if that was very interesting but it is science I suppose, so enjoy. Cheers.